What's going on, everyone? Welcome back to another Souls Like Guide video. If you guys are new to my channel, welcome. I am God's Chosen One. For those of you guys that are returning, you guys are amazing as always, man. If you guys like Souls, Souls Like, and RPG content such as builds, guides, and tips and tricks videos, consider subscribing if you guys haven't already because that is the kind of content that I make on this channel. Now, that out of the way, let's jump up in this video. Today we are playing Kronos Before the Ashes. This is pretty much the prequel uh, to Remnant from the Ashes. And I am thoroughly enjoying my time with this game. Uh, the best things that I can say about the game is that it is very similar to Remnant. But there's also aspects that, that it's not similar to Remnant, if that makes any sense. Uh, it is very melee based, uh, as opposed to, you know, shooter style, like Remnant is. Uh, and the combat is fairly simplified. It's not overcomplicated at all. Um, it's, it's not that there's no depth there, but it's, it's pretty good. It, that, that's all I'm going to say. But anyways, on this guide, guys, I'm going to be showing you exactly where to go to, and how to get the Krell... I get. I think it's called the Krell Hammer. Krell Hammer. Alright. It is a strength-based weapon, so do keep that in mind. This is for a strength kind of... I guess you would call it build. I'm not 100% sure if there are builds in this game. I don't think there are from what I've read and from what I've seen and heard. I just... If you're going down the strength path, this may be a weapon that you want. And you probably want it uh, right out the gate because you can get it fairly early. I'm, As you can see, I'm at the very beginning of the game. Uh, we are uh, currently sitting at the second crystal, okay? So what we're going to do is we're going to make our way, make a left here, and come around the bend, make a right into this corridor. And as you can see, there is the Cyclops, the Krell Guardian sitting right there. Uh, you will come over to this lever, start cranking it up until the gate opens. Just run over here. Try to not get hit by the Krell Guardian. If you do get hit by him, he will kill you. And for the purpose of this video, guys, I have killed majority of all the enemies in the area. So that way, I'm not wasting any of your, any of your guys' time uh, as well as my own. But we come here inside this little open area right here where there's a hole. And we're just going to drop down right here. So we're going to make our way over here. And right here, there is a missing piece to this little stone structure right here. And I'm going to show you guys exactly where to get that. That is important. Uh, without that, you will not be able to get the hammer. So we're going to make our way, I think, left. Yes, left. And we're going to make our way this way. And... You should have gone around this whole entire area, and the lever will be missing. Pretty much, one piece will be sitting here, and you'll have to go up and around at the top where we just came out of, and the other piece will be sitting inside that room over there. And you just open up the shortcut, and you crank the lever up, and it opens the gate. And now we come down this way. I'll show you guys exactly where we're going to be going in order to get the, the hammer. And pretty much it will be in this room. As you can see, that's the door. That item right there is what we're going to need. We're going to, you're at least going to need to pick that up at some point. But as you can see, the raft down below is not up. We can't access it. That's because we need that piece for that stone. We need the little a little hole so that the water can flow through and I'm gonna show you exactly where to go and how to get that come over to the mirror go inside the mirror come out of the mirror we come around to the left here keep going keep going I believe we make a right make an immediate left and the item that we are looking for is right here. It's like a little spigot water spout. Yep, there it is. Now we make our way back to the mirror. All right. Make an immediate left. Make a right. And we make another right. And here is the statue. Go into the inventory. Slap this bad boy on. There we go. 
And there you go. There's the water slowly pouring. Slowly going. And pretty much that will fill up the reservoir down below. And we're just going to make our way down below here. All right. As you can see, water's flowing down now, and the raft is rising. Nice. Just wait for it to get all the way up. There we go. All right, and there should be two enemies right here. We're going to take care of these guys real quick. Got one. And second one done. And here's the hammer, guys, right here. There is little grace to be seen in this supremely solid weapon. Let's take a look at it the Krell hammer. And the damage output. You know, the Iron Axe is sitting at 62 plus 25. The Krill Hammer is base damage 90 with plus 20. So you're getting 110 uh, damage output. But the affinity or probably the scaling is just 0.3 lower than the, than the Iron Axe. But as you can see, hits way harder. Slap that bad boy on, show you guys what it looks like. Somewhat short, I will say. And then this is the move set. Three R1s or RBs, whichever console you play on. Heavy attack. All right. Fully charged heavy attack. And we'll buff it. Nice. Anyways, guys, that's where and how to get the Krell Hammer. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope it was helpful in some kind of a way. If it was, Drop a like down below as well as drop me a comment. Tell me what I could do better. You know, tell me if you enjoyed the video. And as always, subscribe for more Kronos Before the Ashes content. And make sure that you click the bell icon to stay, to stay notified of whenever I drop my newest videos. Anyways, that's it for me. I will catch you guys all in the next one. Peace.